In this video, we are going to see the GitHub Copilot X chat hands-on using Sample Nest.js project. It is one of the best features from GitHub Copilot X, which was announced recently. Check out this link for additional features from Copilot X. In order to get the chat feature access in your VS Code, once you install the chat extension, you need to join the waitlist using the below option. You will be notified by email when it is enabled in your account. For me, it took two days to get the access. Currently, I am using pre-release version of Copilot chat so that we can see all the newly added options. You can click on switch to pre-release version to use the newly added features in it. So, we can click on the chat icon in the left panel and in the bottom text box type forward slash and it will show all the available options in it. Let's start with the demo. This is a sample NestJS project and this is a user service file as a login method. So, it will check. Uh, if the user is already exist in the database or not if yes it will proceed further and check the password is correct or not if yes it will return the user that's this function so let's check one of the features from github copilot that is explain let me type it so it will explain this piece of code in plain english so yeah yeah, it is explaining now in plain English. Yeah, most of the times it will be difficult to understand the code written by someone else or even by ourselves. So it would be better if someone else can explain as the code. So that's what this feature is doing. Uh, the explain. Yeah, this is a cool feature from GitHub Copilot. Let's move on to the next one. So the next one from the list is simplify. We'll take the same function and uh, we will ask the chat to simplify this function. So simplify, uh, this will help us to refactor our piece of code. So let's see what's the result. So it has simplified our function and it also explains it, what it has done. So it has removed the error response constant because it was used in two statements. Looks like we can combine it into a single uh, if condition so see this is the error response and we have used it in two uh, exception handling methods and uh, now it has refactored it and it has combined it also it removed the error response variable in, and it has used the value directly in the exception so yeah so most of the times we'll be getting such review comments from our PR uh, in GitHub. So this will help us to uh, get our code refactored. So let's try with one more example. I'll modify this function to return only ID instead of uh, all the user details. Uh, the attributes we mentioned in the select statement. And uh, let's ask the copilot how it's going to simplify this. So, yeah, I have selected this and I'll type simplify. You'll see the results. Yeah, it has set something related to select. Yeah, it has removed the select option from the find one method since we are not using all those attributes. Uh, but when I tried this previously, it has kept the select statement with id attribute alone. Uh, this time the results differs. Yeah, it's sometimes it's not consistent. Yeah, but still this makes sense. I'll try again. Yeah, same results. So let's see the next feature uh, that is bug fix. So this is a get profile function. Here from database we are getting the user details and if the user not present we will throw profile does not exist. Let's make it to does exist. Let's see if GitHub Copilot can find this bug. I'll type fix and uh, i'll ask it to propose the solution for the issue in the selected piece of code uh, let's see yeah it has said something related to that yeah it has found the bug so it has yes so let's see one more example so let's take a create user function and errors that is gonna hold some object the error details in it for username and email let's change it to array let's see if the copilot can find this issue 
so i'll select this piece of code and i'll type fix and i'll type propose a fix for this piece of code let's see the results yeah it is typing uh oh there is some issue yeah at times i'm getting this issue from copilot i think it's it's not still stable yeah it will be soon fixed but still it has found the error and it has modified the array into object in the results yeah this is a nice one let's see if github copilot can generate some new piece of code for us so i have typed this like it should return user details in a paginated way uh, for the given user ids and if the result is empty it should throw some custom exception let's see yeah it has set the default pagination details and it applied pagination and also handle the exception yes it has done it this looks awesome let's ask github copilot to run some unit test cases for us so let's take create user method and here we'll get the uh, user details from the database if the email is already exists we'll throw some error and also the same for username and uh, so let's ask the copilot to write some tests for this piece of code let me type it tests generate some unit test cases for the selected code let's see the results so it is typing so it is writing more than one unit test cases so yeah it has completed it so there are three test cases it has written one is a positive scenario other two are negative scenarios so let's move on to the top and it has imported the files and it has imported the service and repository it's created the instance to to mock the methods in those classes yeah it has used just to mock the methods and it has set some mock response uh yeah and it compared the results it uses some mock data for the user and if you see the second test case it has mocked the uh, database method with some email data so that it will throw some error so that's the expected test case and if you see the third one it has mocked the database response with some user name so that it will throw some error yeah, if you want to uh, clear the session you can use this slash command to clear and apart from this there are other options available in the chat like you can use the copilot to create jupyter notebook and create a new working directory using the workspace option and uh, that is ext api to know about the vs code extensions and uh, help option to uh, look through the github copilot uh, documentation okay guys that's it for today try out this chat feature in your project and uh, check out the results for different scenarios apart from the ones we covered in the demo uh, thank you for watching this video please do subscribe and like the video if it was helpful we'll see in the next video